Hello once again everyone, welcome to Cruznik's Purgatory. I'm your host, Cruznik X, alongside me, the wonderful Arya Stormborn. Hey y'all. So, we are back on our B we're back on the BS, unfortunately. Um So, uh, uh unfortunately we're not gonna Unfortunately, we've had to delay this for quite some time, and I was hoping to get through this before the new expansion. But at the time of this recording, the new expansion Shadowbringers has been released, so there's been considerable changes, and you'll be able to see you'll be able to I'll uh, speak more about these considerable changes from the new expansion in the level 80 quest. But I'm not going to delve into it too much because to do that now would take up way too much time. And time is not something I really have at this moment. So, um, tonight we're going to be doing the... We are going to be returning to the Path of the Ninja for Stormblood. Um, now we're already at level 70 with full-blown Skaven gear. Um, with the exception of the daggers, which I haven't gotten yet. Um, but I expect to change that pretty soon. Um, unfortunately, Enigma Zero will not be joining us for this leg of the, the ninja storyline. Unfortunately, she's been having health issues, and uh, that's all I'm going to say, um... My only hope is that, um, my only hope is that she does, she does get, get everything in order and, uh, or is able to find herself a little bit more as, uh, as time progresses and she takes on her new challenges one day at a time, um, we all care about her here at Kruznix Purgatory, and we just want her to, uh... We definitely don't want her to leave this game. Um... I just hope... I'm just, uh... I can understand... Ultimately, I can understand. Um... And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I can't really put it into words. I'm terrible at putting things into words. Um... So, let's get right down to it. So, we're going to get in here, back into the dock storehouse for the first of five quests in the Stormblood Ninja storyline. So, we'll speak to Oboro and begin with the level 60 quest, Search for the Stolen Scroll. <clears throat> oh, alas and alack. Whatever am I to do? Oh! Chris! As a shinobi, I am loath to admit this, but I did not see you come in. Truth be told, I have been somewhat distracted of late. Princess Yuki, it would seem, sent a letter to my village praising us for our efforts on her behalf, thus revealing my story of an injury preventing me from making the journey home for the ruse that it was. But my shame is not that I have been summoned back to the village, but rather quite the opposite. Despite knowing that I am hale and hearty, my elders seem to be in no particular hurry to hurry to welcome me back to the, into the fold. Should the time come when we have need of you in Doma, we shall summon you. Until then, you are to remain at your post and do all in your power to aid your countrymen, our countrymen in Eorzea. Such were their words. Is this how far I have fallen? Am I as a falcon bereft of its claws? A dull blade tossed to the wayside by its master? For all I know, I have been all but exiled to this place. I am sorry, Chris. Heaven knows that you did not come here to listen to my griping. On a brighter note, I just received word from Captain Jack. It would seem some Easterners are causing something of a stir. I suppose I should be grateful that someone still has need of my services. Anyhow, it would seem the Kami have led you here at a most opportune time. Would you care to accompany me? I thank you, my friend. Let us make for Limsa Laminsa and see what our friends at the Rogues Guild would ask, would ask of us. All 
right. Off to Limsa. We haven't been to the Thieves Guild in quite a while. Or I should say the Rogues Guild. <laughs> I shouldn't say the Thieves Guild. <laughs> well, I've been playing a little too much Skyrim for my health. Traitor. What are you talking about, traitor? Playing Skyrim. Hey, Skyrim is awesome. Not as awesome as Final Fantasy, but still awesome. In fact, we will be getting into that little game. We'll be getting into that game again uh, in the foreseeable future, but right now, come on, load up Lower Decks. You were just fine with this earlier. Okay, we are off to the Fisherman's Guild. And for those of you wondering why I'm going to the Fisherman's Guild and not the Rogue's Guild, it's because there is no Aetherite for the Rogue's Guild. In fact, in case you forgot, the Rogue's Guild is over here. Oh, that's pretty cool how, how, I, how I strafe the way I strafe. You're looking to head inside? Yes, yeah, hello to you too, buddy. You haven't seen me in ages, you don't think you could give him a nice little more of a hello? Well, if it ain't... Well, if it isn't... Yeah. Well, if it ain't the dimpest damper of them all. I trust you've been keeping your stabbers sharpened. What, with you and Obero on the job, I reckon I'll be a... He bob before the darkmans comes round. Here's where we stand. One of me little birds in the Kraken's arms came chirping to me a, a story about some Dermans who I reckon are breaking one code or another. Seems they, the Krakens that is, were out si snilching the eastern seas when they grabbed a vessel flying garlean colors as they want to do. But then came the rub. The crew claimed to be Dorman, you see, and upon whittling their captor's identity, they changed tack, begging for asylum on Eorzean shores and offering the entirety of their cargo in full, in full in return for safe passage. Call him a Benny Cove or a fool, the Kraken, the Kraken captain took the self-styled Dormans up on their offer, stowing the eastern treasures and the easterners themselves away in the hold. They set sail for Limsa. But after pulling into port, a funny thing happened. No sooner had the Krakens dropped anchor than the refugees put on their best beater cases and skulked off into the dead of the Darkmans, leaving all their treasures behind. All the treasures save one, a scroll of sorts that had been hiding in a corner, all, conspicu all inconspicuous like. Carvalane reckons that these Doman refugees have played us for some f rum fun, and they're off selling the scroll on the black markets for good blunt even as we speak. I see. So you would have us recover the scroll in question, and bring the thieving Domans to justice. I am honored to lend what aid I can, and yet I cannot help but wonder just what could it be about this scroll to make it so valuable to my countrymen? Well, we're not going to whittle the scrap, j scrap just sitting here around. Mm, let's try that again. Well, we're not going to whittle the scrap just sitting around here on the dallas now, are we? Let's snilch town and see what the common coves and mords have si haven't haven't seen. Chris, why don't you go? Why don't you go pay the Tory one a visit at the wench? If there's any rumors going around about any shifty Easterners, like as not that mord would know. You do remember what to order, eh? Cause a timber timber like yourself would. Good luck out there, and keep your wattles open. We'll be waiting for you in Bulwark Hall when you're through.
All right, off to the drowning winch. After that, we need to go to the aft castle. While we're here, I might as well crack open my root beer. Is it Jitoan? No, it's Itoan. Welcome to the Drowning Wench. What's your pleasure, sir? A weak ale. Ah, you must be on business. Here on business. Perhaps I could offer you something from our underground menu. Now, what's your fancy? Guests from the east, you say? Why, yes, I do believe we've had some visitors not long ago matching that description. They left shortly before you arrived. I make a habit of pricking my ears up to catch our patrons every whisper, but the party in question required little such effort. Why, they were shouting of tales of riches and glory in a roar that could wake the dead. They said they were on their way to Wineport to make a trans the transaction of a lifetime, though they weren't keen on going into detail. Just between us... I wouldn't be surprised if there was something less than savory about their business. Speaking of st savory, can I interest you in our seafood food stew? Seafood stew, huh? That sounds like a good eating. Oh, whoops. There you are, Jack. So our lads are headed to Wineport, eh? Better work, Chris. Remind me to slip Epitone and some extra blunt next time we stop by the wench for libations. That said, something doesn't sit right with me. Cackling their plans for every drunkard and tavern wants to hear. I reckon our friends might be looking to amuse us if you whittle my gist. Keep your eyes open and your stab is sharp, mates. All right, let's head to Wineport. The weird thing is, Wineport is right near Obero's little encampment. So why would the Easterners head there? Unless they knew where we were going. Unless they were looking for Obero. Well, there's a bleeding surprise. The code-breaking curs have already bit the blow and hopped the twig. The caravan's worth a bingo in tow. Word is, they were last seen beating a plat path for Bloodshore. But what they... But what could they mean to... Wait a bleeding moment. What if the grog's not meant for selling, but keeping their throats wet on the long voyage? I reckon all lads are trying to smuggle the scroll home. There's no time to lose. Let's brush off our beater cases and make for Bloodshaw all the quick like. Oberon and I will snit to the north side. Chris, you take the south. We'll have to catch those curs before they slip from our daddles for good. Whoa, not what I wanted to do. Alright, off to Costa del Sol. Let's ride. Mm. 
It's a good thing we're level 70 and don't have to mess with anything. <clears throat> um, no, be no. <laughs> you just had to poke your nose in our business, eh? Guess you leave us no choice. I love doing five figure damage, it's so wonderful. Alright, where's Jack? Okay, there he is. Looks like you guys ran into some trouble too. Let me guess. You came upon a couple of rough, rough looking coves. These coves came waving their stabbers in my face. I thought I could edge a word in a word. I reckon twas the same for you. The scroll is nowhere to be seen, nor is anything resembling a ship. If I did not know better, I would say they were a simple group of ruffians enjoying their ill-gotten grog. The dim one sees, but does he truly see? No, these fortunate men were but pawns in a grand scheme, as disposable as the bottles that now litter the shore. Meanwhile, your true quarry has boarded a trader and sails for Kugane, even as we speak, under the auspices of the East Aldenar Trading Company, no less. So cunning a scheme. I wish I'd thought of it myself. Or did I? <laughs> How do you know all... Bugger me. You're the code from the House of Sticks! <laughs> Karasu! Karasu Regbeak! Childhood friends had bitter enemies, then friends once more, reunited after far too long. Our hero returns, and the audience swoons! Oh, what a joyous day! Or is it? I'll say this much, Dim One, for once you've managed to surprise me! To think that the oh-so-serious Obero would lie to his elders to avoid having to make the Jenny home, only to find he wasn't welcome to begin with. Oh, the irony of it all! Enough of your preening and prattling, Karasu. I want answers. How did you know we were here? Just what is your connection to the thieves we pursue? <laughs> you mean the thieves who already eluded your clumsy grasp? Just as I am about to do. I fear that is a story for another day. Bah! Have the slippery bird that one. That daft rook's an acquaintance of yours? That's news to Jack's mortals. Meanwhile, we've got our work cut out for us if we still want to grabble that scroll. Is there anywhere we can have a few wits? You know, secret like. Say no more, Captain Jack. As luck would have it, our base of operations is but a short walk from these parts. Chris, pray join us at the storehouse.
I can get there from here, right? Yeah, I guess I can. I didn't want to take the Regalia Type G, but I'm going to take it anyway. <laughs> We'll take the fairy skipper. There he is. We'll pay the 40 gil, seeing as how it's cheap. Besides, the storehouse is right across the street. Like, why teleport to Aleport when we can go cheaper? Right? Right. Karasu Redbeak. Of all the places I thought our search might lead us, never in my wildest dreams did I think I, it would lead us to him. Come square with me, Oboro. Just who is this Karasu Cove? Can we trust him? Or is he like as not to stick us his stabbers in our back the moment we turn a blind eye? No, I mean, yes. I mean, he's neither. Or both? Perhaps I should say it's complicated. Judging from your reaction, sure seems as much. Anyway, if all men have set sail for Ingashi, I reckon we've no choice but to do the same. I wasn't exactly prepared for a long voyage, but damned if I'll leave this job half done. That said, shamed as I am to admit it, this, old, this is old Jack's first journey to the Far East. Wouldn't know Kugane from a wrong stock's his ass. And I don't know a rogue what can do his work without knowing the lay of the land. Worry not, Captain Jack. I have traveled there on many an occasion to procure the tools of my trade from the finest Hink and artisans. It would be my pleasure to serve as your guide. Your presence will be most heartening as well, Chris. Kugane is a city where anything can happen and there is no telling what dangers await us there. I agree with that, but mind you, Chris is the right busy cove. What say we do it this way? Oberon and I will go on ahead, and we'll send for you once we've sn snilched out the place and worked out our next plan of action. A reasonable plan, Captain Jack. In that case, Chris, pray check in at the storehouse from time to time. I will send word to your May when we require your services. In the meantime, May the Kami guide you in your training. And with that, we've completed the next... Hit the level 60 ninja quest. The next ninja quest will be available from Yomei upon reaching level 63. And the requirements, you, you know the rest. Alright, so... We've completed the first of many ninja quests. Um, we're going to take a quick break and return with more. For those of you watching on Twitch, stay tuned. But for with that being said, that's going to be it for this episode of Cruise Next Purgatory. A special thank you to Arya Stormborn for joining us. You. Yeah. And thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live with PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button. Be sure to turn on notifications so you're informed of all of my live streams and videos the moment they air. And be sure to subscribe to me for exclusive access to Cruise Next Purgatory. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this show, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the next episode. And click here to watch the previous one. Until next time, Cruise the Gex. Signing out.